Hit the nail on the head, understanding context in idiomatic expressions. Hello, language learners. Today, we're taking an exciting step into the world of English idiomatic expressions, focusing on how to understand the appropriate context for these colorful phrases. The beauty of idiomatic expressions lies in their ability to convey complex meanings in a succinct and vivid manner. But the tricky part? Knowing when and where to use them. Don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll be able to hit the nail on the head with your use of idioms. Let's get started. Idiomatic expressions are phrases where the words together have a meaning that's different from the dictionary definitions of the individual words. For instance, kick the bucket doesn't actually mean to physically kick a bucket. It's a slang phrase for passing away. They're a big part of the English language, adding spice and color to our conversations, making them more vibrant and engaging. However, their indirect and often culturally specific nature can lead to misunderstandings if used in the wrong context. The appropriate use of idiomatic expressions often hinges on the context of the conversation. Imagine saying, break a leg, to someone who's about to take a test. This might cause confusion as this phrase is typically used to wish someone luck before a performance, not an exam. In general, there are three primary factors to consider for the context. 1. Social setting. Is the conversation formal or informal? Some idioms may be deemed unprofessional in formal settings. 2. Cultural nuances. Idioms often have cultural undertones, and what works in one culture might not translate well into another. 3. Interpersonal relationship. Your relationship with the person you're talking to also affects which idioms are appropriate to use. How do we master the context? Here are three key strategies. 1. Learn from real-life examples. Reading books, watching movies, and listening to podcasts can expose you to idioms used in real-life contexts. 2. Use a reliable dictionary. Some dictionaries provide example sentences along with definitions of idioms, helping you understand their correct usage. 3. Practice, practice, practice. Try using idioms in your daily conversations and writings, and get feedback from native speakers. Before we wrap up, let's clear up some common misconceptions about idioms. 1. All idioms can be used interchangeably. Not true. Just because two idioms have similar meanings doesn't mean they can be used in the same situations. Each idiom has a unique flavor and should be used in the appropriate context. 2. The more idioms, the better. It's about quality, not quantity. Overusing idioms can make your speech sound unnatural and forced. Congratulations, language learners. You're now well on your way to painting the town red with your knowledge of idiomatic expressions and their contexts. Remember, idioms can bring your conversations to life, but only if used in the appropriate setting. Practice, stay curious, and don't be afraid of making mistakes. That's how we learn. Thank you for tuning in today, and as the idiom goes, until the cows come home, keep exploring the fascinating world of English language. Happy learning!